everybody, it's me Gayla, back with another video to show you some of the Cabbage Patch that I've gotten this week. So, um, stay tuned if you want to see that. Um, so, the first thing I got was uh, a redhead. I really wanted a redhead. Someone in one of the Facebook groups posted a picture of a whole bunch of redheads together. And I hadn't really given them much thought before. But they looked so cute all together. Um, and it seems like a lot of people are looking for redheads. So I thought mm, maybe I should get one. Now I have this girl already. This is Sunny. She came in my box, my giant trade box that I got from Ben. But she's had a haircut. She's a little TLC. But that's okay. Um, so I got her cleaned up, got her some pajamas. I really like putting them in these sleepers. Um, they fit the newborn ones pretty well. They're a little loose, but I got that one from Once Upon a Child with the pandas on it. I couldn't resist. But anyway, so I had Sunny already, but in that photo that that person shared, there was, um, what is known as a poodle where the Cabbage Patch has a lot of loops and then either one or two ponytails. And... In her red hair, she had a lavender ribbon, and I think that's what really sold it for me, like that lavender color against the red. Um, I just had to have one. I started looking. This particular doll in the picture had a single pony, um, so I really wanted that one. You know, obviously, Sunny here is a double pony, but she's not a poodle. She only has the loops at the front. The rest of her hair is just straight. Um, <clears throat> in my first cabbage patch that I got as a grown-up, Jessalyn, she is a double pony poodle with brown hair. So, I already had one double pony poodle. And I try not to duplicate too much because I'm limited on space. I can't have all the Cabbage Patch as much as I would love to. Um, so, I was looking for a single pony red haired poodle style. So, I was looking and looking and looking. I found several. They're still not very expensive, but um, it seems like redheads are kind of trending upward. So if you're thinking about getting one, you know, I'm not an expert or anything, but it seems like they're gonna probably go up. It's um, It's been said that the Cabbage Patch market is up more right now than it was previously. I don't know if that's like a, a pandemic thing or what, but um, they do seem more expensive than they have been. But fortunately for me, I was able to find one at a good price. I found this girl. And you see all these loops. That's what I was looking for. All the red loops. And then she's got the single pony. Now this girl's a head bolt five with the one tooth, just like my Jessalyn, who's also a poodle. So I'll have a couple of poodle girls now. So I was excited about that. Um, and this girl, you see she's got a couple of flaws on her face. The little gashes right here. Um, and that was disclosed to me. I think I'm going to try to sand them with some very fine sandpaper and see if I can't reduce the appearance a little bit. But you know what? If, if I'm not able to fix it, that's fine. And you can tell she's an older style because she's got the thumb that can hold a pen. This is probably too heavy, but yeah, they can hold like a crayon or a pencil with these longer thumbs. And hers doesn't have the wire. I think the circus kids had a wire in their thumb so that they could hold something. But anyway... Um, let's see here. She is a green signature on her bum there. And she is a KT factory. And most of mine are OK factories. So um, I was excited to have her. Something a little bit different. And um, it's funny how their, their bodies vary. Like I've noticed her arms, they just they seem different. I don't know if that's a KT factory thing. Um, but they seem, they seem unusual <laughs> to me compared to some of my others. But um, it looks like all her stitches are good. Um, she was on Mercari, and it's a lady ha I have purchased from before, Miss Cindy. Miss Cindy will do bundles. She has lots and lots of Cabbage Patch for sale. So I was looking in her shop because I, I knew that she would bundle for me. I had purchased a bundle from her before. So I was looking to see if there was anything else in her shop that I was looking for that I could bundle together to save on shipping. Um, also, she's a very sweet lady, and I'd like to continue to purchase from her if I could. Um, now, another thing I was looking for, I'm looking for two 
corn silk kids. Now, if you don't know, the corn silk kids are the ones who don't have yarn hair. They have brooded hair, like uh, Barbies do, you know, more, more lifelike texture. Um, so the two that I was looking for, I want an African-American corn silk kid. I think they're so beautiful. And someone in our Facebook group, Cabbage Patch Kid Fun, um, posted they collect all of these AA kids and they're all in the same the velvet suits and they call them the Johnson family and it is amazing um, if you enjoy Cabbage Patch please consider joining our group because we have a lot of fun there um, but anyway <clears throat> one of the photos of the Johnson family had an African-American corn silk kid and the hair was just it was like a mane <laughs> of rooted hair and I just fell in love and now I want one so bad they're so so cute so I'm, I've been looking for one I've got my eye on a couple of them that I've been watching to see if I can get a little bit of a bargain on them a little bit of a deal because I do not like paying regular price for things you know I'm a thrifter I'm a fixer-upper so you know I, I'm not saying that prices are un, unreasonable unrealistic you know this is a free market people can charge what they want what they see fit and that's fine you know that's your right I don't have to buy it I'm not obligated to buy it at the price you know and that's the thing about it we have the option to wait and see if we can get a better deal if we would like to if you are not patient or if you want that thing right then that's great I'm not like that but anyway the other thing I was looking for was a uh, corn silk kid with the platinum blonde hair now they've got you know like regular blonde like my brassy pieces here <laughs> or um, the, the white platinum blonde so that's what I was looking for was the platinum blonde I don't know if it's called something else that's just you know what white blonde hair is tend to tend to be called um, and she had one in her shop so I was like Miss Cindy would you please bundle these two girls would you take X amount which would basically knock a few dollars off each doll which I don't think was unreasonable obviously she, she took it and um, very kindly accepted my offer so she bundled these two girls together for me took a little bit off the price I was very very grateful for that but here's the other girl the corn silk girl with the platinum hair and she's a little TLC you know she's got some stains her hair needs a little bit of zhuzhin it is a little dry so I'm hoping that you know maybe some fabric softener can fix that but she's supposed to have all these like curls around her face so you can see like if these were all fanned out how that would look um, especially with the kid that I saw in the group, the African-American kid. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, she's got blonde hair, and she is a head mold eight. Okay, me and Holly were just talking about this this morning. The head mold eights can wear glasses. Yeah, look how far out her ears stick. So I might have to get her some glasses. I might have to DIY her some glasses um, so that she can have some, because that would be darling little platinum blonde hair especially if I can fix it in like a bouffant or something like that like a retro style and then put her get her like some cat eye glasses oh my gosh you guys so many ideas <laughs> I have too many projects and not enough time um, but anyway yeah got these two girls in a bundle for a very good price very happy so if, Miss Cindy if you see this thank you so much I'm so so grateful but not only that you guys she sent me an extra an extra doll for free she just threw one in and look who it is <laughs> it's a cow baby this is the talking farm babies I think they're from 93 I want to say 93 and you, if you remember um, a while back I unboxed the one that I have so now I now I have a pair and I'm totally okay with that because I love these um, this little guy his name is Sylvester and he came from Wisconsin and he actually had his paperwork that's his name and Sylvester's birthday is on Halloween October 31st so Sylvester the cow from Wisconsin whose birthday is on Halloween now not all my kids have names I name them as it comes to me I don't like put pressure on myself to create a name for them it's just something that kind of happens over time but um, Sylvester came with his papers so he had a name but I was like, what can I name his his twin? Well, almost twin. Sylvester actually has, and I posted in the group the other day because I'm still not sure about this, but he's a Hasbro, and I had another Hasbro baby with eyes this color. 
so I don't know if this is the violet eyes that everyone talks about that are you know kind of desirable because to me it looks more like an indigo color but if you look here this guy has blue eyes so if it is blue it's a much darker blue and here on camera it really does look more violet um, maybe it's just in the light it looks lighter I don't know obviously I don't have great vision um, my glasses are very very thick <laughs> but um, oh and their mouths are a little different too so they're a little bit different head mold see that I didn't know they did different ones for these um, at the time I think they were called like crib snuggler you know now they say nothing in the crib no blankets no bumpers no toys nothing um, <clears throat> but the thing with these was they were machine washable and could go in the dryer which these are too really if you think about it but I digress I didn't know what to name this one and then it came to me Sylvester and Stallone <laughs> it's so silly I know but I just I think that's so funny so Stallone will get cleaned up and join his brother Sylvester <laughs> That's like in, um, oh, what is it, in the Ricky Bobby movie. I don't remember the name, sorry. And they're like at the dinner table and the dad's like Walker and Texas Ranger. <laughs> That's what's going on here. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I got all of these wonderful dolls from Miss Cindy. Miss Cindy, thank you so much. She is the sweetest. I love her. I can't wait to get more kids from her. I already checked her shop this morning to see if there was anything that I was looking for. And I saw lots of babies that I would love to have, but I'm trying to only get the ones that I want in just not every every Cabbage Patch that I see that I like because I just don't have room. I don't have room. Um, I'm actually using my children's old changing table. It's an old Jenny Lind changing table. And, um, you know it's it's older and I was worried about my kids like climbing on it in their room so I moved it into the toy room and it has turned out to be really great storage for my Cabbage Patch kids it's like a perfect little shelf you know the shelves are nice and deep and I've got uh, all my cabbies and then underneath I've got my fur skins so the next thing you guys you guys this is one of my grails <laughs> I got a Jesmar Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I wasn't planning on getting a Jesmar. They are highly sought after. They tend to be very expensive. Um, the only reason I wanted one in the first place was because of this hair color. And I didn't care if I got a boy or a girl. I just wanted them to have this hair color. Now the listing called this champagne. Um, when I first asked Holly about it, she said it was more of like a salmon kind of tone and it's a very very I don't even know if you guys can tell on camera it's just the slightest little tinge of pink now the regular I don't have one here but the um the regular Calicos with the what's called the wheat color hair if the photo is filtered the right way it looks pink so this I mean it's just the slightest slightest amount of pink it's not very pink at all but you can tell just a little and that was just enough for me because I love dolls with pink hair I love them um, now Jesmars are known for their beauty typically they have freckles but they come without freckles too as you can see and I think that's why I was able to get a lower price because mine didn't have the freckles um, but like I said the listing called this color champagne so I, I would guess that's what it's known as among collectors but that is the only reason I wanted a Jesmar. Um, you know, the freckles are nice. The thing about the Jesmar is they were made in Spain and they have these hand painted freckles and they are very, very beautiful. Um, but I just figured, you know, with my budget and the way that I have to collect, I would just get a Coleco and paint freckles and call it a day and be like, oh, there's, there's my doll with freckles. I'm good with that. But I really wanted, I really wanted this hair color really bad and I didn't think I would get one for a long time because Jesmars were so expensive but um I had, was trying to get a boy and I was off by like five dollars I think I had made an offer for five dollars less than he was selling for and then someone came behind me and just bought him outright which that's the thing about Macquarie it's a good and bad thing you can see what the highest offer in the last 24 hours was so you do get a notification if someone else has made an offer on something you're watching 
but on the other hand, it's also kind of like sniping a little bit because you see they made an offer and you can just swoop in and buy it outright if you don't want to risk not getting that thing and you're willing to pay a little bit more than they offered. So, I mean, it's not bidding, but it's kind of like bidding. But anyway, um, I lost the boy. So I saw her. She was like the very next listing next to his picture. And I was like, oh, okay, let me look at that. And then um, I offered what I had offered for the boy and the lady countered and she had countered by $5, which is what I would have paid for the boy. So I went ahead and accepted her offer. And that is how I got a Jesmar. And she's in this very beautiful outfit. You know, it's a Coleco outfit. It's perfect. She's got these beautiful ruffled socks. Um, like the little pageant baby swear. <laughs> Um, I'm probably going to change her out of this and put this away in a Ziploc bag to keep it nice. Just like um, my first girl that I got, Jessalyn, she came in the sailboat dress outfit. So I have that stored in a plastic bag, um, like a Ziploc bag. And then Charlie, my clown, my circus girl, um, I have her circus outfit stored as well. Because here we have torrential rain, we have lots of trees around us, we have hurricanes, and you know, I don't want to put my dolls away where I can't enjoy them, but I do store the outfits just to keep them nice. Um, I do have three children and a dog, <laughs> so, you know, we're in the south. We, we've got weather. I'm on the Gulf Coast, the, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, so just for my own peace of mind, I'd like to store the outfits and um, probably put her in something a little more comfortable and there's probably collectors watching like screaming at their screens right now like why would you do that why would you put her in that stupid baby outfit but it's just a preference and actually um someone in the groups had posted that they keep all their cabbage patch in baby sleepers to protect them to keep their little hands and their feet from getting stained um so which Cindy's outfit doesn't have the feet but I'll go to Once Upon a Child, and when they have their clearance, the sleepers are like a dollar a piece. And even regular, they're no more than four dollars usually. So I can go get sleepers for my kids, you know, for a couple bucks a piece and put them in that so they're, they're protected in my home. At least, you know, to keep them from getting stained and things like that, so. And they're cute, you know, I like to put them, I like to dress them in something different. Um, I do like the Coleco outfits a lot, but a lot of them, like this one, aren't my specific taste, but I can still appreciate them, so I want to store them because I do, I do recognize that these things have value. It's just not, I don't know, I'd rather dress them in something that makes me even happier when I look at them, so. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Like, she's perfect, but she would be more perfect if she was in pastel. So anyway, that is my beautiful Jesmar girl. She doesn't have a name. She didn't come with papers, and that's fine. I don't have to have paperwork. Um, I got, like, Sylvester, he came with paperwork. And then, of course, um, uh, Isabel, my soft sculpture, came with paperwork. And then um, my preemie that was gifted to me, my Coleco preemie, she came with paperwork. Which, as an aside, I might do a different video about her because in the group they were talking about neon preemies n-e-o-n -E neon preemies that are like very very pink and that's what i have she her body is so pink it's almost red and i thought that was so strange when i got her and holly was like well babies are different colors and i was like yeah okay <laughs> i felt really silly and then also um i had a niece and nephew who were preemies and had to go in the NICU and they were very early and their colors were, were different. You know, they weren't like this color. They were more like more like this color. So um, I guess that was kind of the, the intention with the preemies, but um, maybe I'll do a different video on that. Um, but if you'd like to hear about her or maybe my story, my Cabbage Patch collecting story, because I'm coming up on a year now that I've been collecting them as a grown up, uh, just, just mention in the comments, that's what you'd like to see and I'd be happy to do that. But that's all the cabbie mail I have for now. It's quite a lot, so I don't know if I'll be doing another video like this for a while because, you know, there's, I just got, you know, four brand new dolls. <laughs> I need to cool my jets a little bit. But until my next video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. The world is a better place because you're here. Take care. Bye.